Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a spot chart for the tile visualization. A tile visualization can take up to five measures. The first measure is considered to be primary measure and then the rest of the measures are treated as secondary measure. We've added a new category edge to the grammar definition of the tile visualization. Now let's go ahead and add an attribute to the category edge. As you see, when I drop the category edge, a, a spark chart is by default drawn for the primary measure of the tile visualization. In this case, it is drawn for sales and the dimensional attribute uh, that the metric uses is product subcategory. Now let's go to the property panel of the tile visualization and let me introduce you to the new properties we've added to manage uh, spark charts. The first property is uh, the chart type. You can control the chart type by uh, selecting the chart option and change it to line with area, which is a default, or to a line, or to a bar chart, or to an area chart. The color can be set to auto, or you can choose to use the color of the measure in this case, which is sales. And when I choose that, you can see that sales has been assigned to a light green color, and it uses uh, the same for the spot chart as well. Now the position of the spark chart by default is placed right after the primary measure. Uh, you can choose to place it below all the measures. And when you do the position is below, you get to control the width and height of the spark chart as well. So I'm going to choose my width to stretch and also choose my height to stretch. Now this provides a very nice view for my tile visualization that not only provides the summary information of my metric, sales and discount but also provides a detailed view of the sale metric by the dimensional column that i added to the category edge of the tile visualization now here are some more variants of the spark charts for the different styles that uh, the author has control over in terms of uh, choosing the chart type the position of the chart position and alignment now I'm gonna to go to average sales by city and I wanna change the color assignment of the measure. So I'm gonna choose custom. And in this case, uh, the custom color assigned is a uh, black. I'm gonna open up the palette and maybe choose a, a, blues, a, a blue color for my average sales by city metric. Um, and you can see that I also have options to uh, turn on the high low mark and also add a reference line, which by default is an average reference line. Spot charts are a great way to further enhance the experience of the tile visualization on your workbooks and dashboards. Thank you for watching this video.